There's a lot of things that don't make sense about the movement to end abortion if you take them on their, on their face, that they're against murder. There's a lot of, if they're against, you know, if they're pres for preserving life, it doesn't make sense. Most of them are for the death penalty. Most of them are for the war in Iraq. Most of them, I mean, if you look at the core of the movement driving this, they, the Christian fascist movement at its core were, were the most hysterically fanatical supporters of the torture that was carried yeah. out under Bush and is continuing to be carried out under Obama. That, you could point out that's hypocritical on its face, but that has not stopped them. And it's actually, it, it allows them and what they really are to be obscured from the people who could stop them, which is the majority of people in this country, women and men who care about women's lives. And that's part of why I went so into the history the movement, uh, the biblical scripture, what's it rooted in, why do they keep using it, and what is their vision of a society is, they use the words life, and they use the notion of being compassionate about babies, and they use the notion of caring about mothers, you know, uh, women, they say abortion hurts women, all these things. And they've confused a lot of people, but at its core, this has never been about that. They use those things, but at their core, they really are about subjugating women. They're really about turning women into breeders, Baby making machines and that's it, stay in your place, obey your husband. All of that stuff is, you know, the, the, these are the people who introduced the, um, what is it called, the, 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 the covenant marriages where a woman can't get a divorce, you know, unless, unless you know, there's no such thing anymore for women. This is in, 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 I guess, where is that state where the, Huckabee, Huckabee got, a, Huckabee got one of these marriages. You know, these are people who, they don't want women to be allowed to get a divorce, even if they're being abused or, or, you know, mangled in other ways in the confines of their marriage. If we don't start exposing that about this movement, and if we don't start telling people who themselves, you know, this is part of the problem. You have a lot of people who say, well, I think abortion should be legal, but I would never get one myself, or maybe there's something wrong with it. If we don't start saying, no, actually... The science of the matter is fetuses are not babies, and, and that's the truth. And so it's really, are you for the subjugation of women, or are you for women being fully human? If we don't shift those terms, if all we do is point out the hypocrisy of those who claim pro-life, and we don't start revealing what this battle is really about, we will be demobilizing the people, the women and the men who need to be fighting for this. And that's where I don't disagree with your statement, and frankly, it should be part of what gets raised. But I really think we have to start holding these people to, the, to being Christian fascist, dark ages, you know, morality that they're trying to enforce and, and peeling away other people who are being confused by that. There's, there's also a, a real reluctance on the part, unfortunately, of many of the larger organizations, Planned Parenthood being one of them, um, to not actually use the language, to not say the word abortion. Um, they, they beat around the bush and they say other things, women's reproductive rights, you know, da 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 da, but they don't actually get to the core of it. And um, I asked one uh, leader of one of the organizations, why aren't, when you do the fundraising stuff, why isn't the word abortion in this whole thing? And she said, well, we don't like to use that word because some of our fundraisers don't like the word abortion. It's like, good God, you know, I mean, it, we have to be able to say it and to talk about it. And um, so when, when our own, you know, some of the large organizations, and by the way, um, this is just my own little thing, I have to say this. You know, there's brands put on everything. You know, there's this group has its own name and, and is branded as the experts in this area or this area or that area. And everybody, um, not everybody, many people in this country think of abortion, they think of Planned Parenthood, or they think of contraception and they think of Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood does a minute number of the abortions in this country. It is independent providers like myself who are on the front lines who are doing 80% of the abortions in this country. It is not Planned Parenthood. 